pop, pop, shit. Damn, I'm all over my words today. Arr! Welcome to the Bearded Barbarian! Welcome everybody, welcome to today's video. Today, we are opening a mystery box from New and Old Funko Pop Unboxing. That's right, a good friend sent me a mystery box. There better be a good one in here, buddy. I don't think that's how it works, but hopefully there will be something interesting inside this box. This is actually three mystery boxes. I bought three of them. Uh, this particular mystery box was $19 a piece, a uh, total of $57 dollars, uh, including shipping. Uh, there were 40 boxes in this particular run, um, and it should be some good stuff. The top hits are Scarlet Witch, Tay Feedy, which I don't, doesn't sound like anything I want, but it's a top hit, and Woody. Okay, I need a Woody. Okay, that's, I'm not meant to be dirty. Anyway, so that's what we're looking for in this particular box. Um, I, I have a good feeling. I always have a good feeling, though, but this, I do have a good feeling here. So we're gonna look at seeing if we can open up this bad boy. But before we do that, we're gonna open up a cool box I got from Ralphie's Funhouse. And I believe it's a pop. I don't hear a rattling of a can, so I'm pretty sure this is a pop that I ordered uh, a while back. And I just wanted to open it up as a little appetizer. A little appetizer. It's the boneless spare rib to our cow that we're gonna eat over here. All right, let's take a look. All right, maybe we won't look at it. Hmm, this is kind of a weird... Okay, there it is. I see, I see what they do. All right, let's take a look. Let's see what we got here. Uh, I see a piece of paper. All right, what do we get? Oh, we got us a bloody carry pop. A bloody carry pop. This was a cool one. It's Halloween time, and I never saw Carrie. I probably was scared to death to look at it, and but I did see this one, and this one looked like a real cool one. I like the bloody pops, and I like, uh, you know, those kinds of things, even though I don't care for the movies. So this one was a very, very fun one. Uh, stay tuned at the end of the video. We will put all of our pops from New and Old Funko Pop Unboxing's Mystery Box and from Carrie uh, on the spinner so you can get a chance to check it out. Okay, so that was a cool one. That was a very, very cool one. I'm not sure if it's got super value or anything, but I liked it. It was so long ago I had forgotten I had it. So it's kind of a mystery box. All right, let's take a look and see what we got. I believe there were some numbers picked here. I don't remember what they are. If there's a number on the box, I will tell you what I picked. I think one of them might have been seven. I always try to pick seven. I know that's everyone's lucky number, but it's kind of mine too. So um, I try to usually get that one. So let's take a look. All right. Go over and check out New and Old. I believe he has a mystery box going on right now, or did. Seems to have them every now and then. I've never done a mystery box run. I was toying with the idea, and still might. Um, if you're interested in seeing something like that in the future, let me know. Uh, maybe I'll put something together. I'm trying to do something, something different. I always try to want to do something different, okay? But sometimes different isn't always better, so I gotta sort of temper that whole vibe. That's it, there's these three boxes, okay? And again, there was only one pop per box. I don't know if you wrote on here the numbers. I don't see a number. On. Oh, there's one. Seven was one of them. Let's see what my other number. 14, which is a double seven. And I got a 21. Triple seven. Look what I did. All right, let's try a 21 first. Let's see what we got in our 21 box. All right. Types of things you got. I think there'll be a Scarlet Witch in here. That's the top one, Scarlet Witch. I do like marble pops. I do have some Scarlet Witch pops, so I wouldn't want something that's a double, even if it's the top pull. So I'm not really sure if that's one that's that's uh, good or not. Let's see what we got here. It looks like we got a business card, a business card, new and old Funko Pop unboxing. All right. All right, what do we get? What do we get? Ah, we got us a Fano. I believe I have this one. This is a Marvel Collector's Core Pop. And I do get Marvel Collector's Core, but I haven't got them from the very beginning. So it depends on how old of a one this is. The box is in great shape. Um, I'll have to look and see. I'm not too sure about that. And then we'll also check the values too, of course. All right, so that was one. Let's see what there's another one in here. See what we got in this one. This is number 14. Let's take a look. All 
And again, another business card. I don't have a business card. I have like a, um, I was gonna say like a greeting card, but kind of, kind of like that. That's what I use instead of a business card, something a little bit different. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, what is this? Ah, we got us a Cobra Kai Johnny Lawrence. I actually have two Johnny Lawrences. I have an out-of-box Johnny Lawrence, and I have an autographed Johnny Lawrence. If you haven't gotten a chance to see that one, it's a very cool video I got um, where the, the, the guy that plays Johnny Lawrence, I forgot the dude's name, but um, he actually autographed it and he did the little shout-out thing. Uh, it's a V-shout, is what they call a V-shout. Hey, Cleon Ross, what's up, buddy? This is your Cobra Kai Johnny Lawrence pop signature. Strike first, strike hard, no mercy. We'll see you at the Netflix dojo soon. So that was a cool one. So I do have this one. Most likely this will end up on my pop stack. All right. Last chance of glory. Last chance of glory. All right. Let's see what we got. But again, we will stay tuned and see if we got any, what we got for value. Johnny Lawrence was um, had some value there for a while. I'm not sure if it still does, but I know for a while it did. All right. Another business card. All right. What's this one look like? All right, what do we get? Oh, we got a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This is Shredder. That's a cool one. I have one of these different ones. I don't remember which one I have. Maybe Michelangelo? Something like that, I'm thinking. But that's a cool one. I do like that one. I, I'm a really That's my favorite one of the, the three that I pulled. But we're going to go ahead and check our values, and we will return. All right, welcome back. So we did a little bit of research on our pops here. We found some interesting values. Um, I even checked the one for Carrie. I, that one was so new, uh, Funko Pop didn't even have a value. So we looked up Pop, pop Price Guide. Uh, it's going for 12 bucks. I, I believe I paid like 15. It was pretty basic pop. But it again, it was a cool one and I, I really like it. It is super bloody. I mean, it is one of the bloodiest bloody pops I have. It's bloody good. Anyway, so um, this one, Shredder, which was probably my favorite is the least valuable of these. This is uh, going for $15 right now. It's a cool one though. I do like it. Uh, Thanos, again, I'll have to check my collection to see if I have this one or not. Um, maybe I do, I have one very similar. I know, I don't know if I have this exact one, but it is going for $16. And the last one, Johnny Lawrence, this one I know I have, because I have two of them. Um, it was very cool, but currently it's going for $17. Okay, so sort of the middle of the road pops. Nice pops. They're in great condition, etc. I appreciate new and old Funko Pop -up unboxing uh, sending those out. Um, and those were some good stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed those. Let me know which one you enjoyed the most. Are you into any of these uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Pops or uh, Cobra Kai? I really did enjoy. I haven't watched the new uh, Cobra Kai show. Um, I keep telling myself I'm going to watch it, but now there's more and more seasons and it's just more and more digging for me. So anyway, stay tuned again at the spinner at the end of the video to check all of our pops on the spinner. Thank you very much for coming. Make sure to subscribe if you're new and goodbye from the Bearded Barbarian.